Hey, it's Thomas Girl Clevin, and I don't know if I'm going to be making this into a series. That'll depend on the reception and if people want me to make more of these for other characters. But I wanted to talk about a build what has proven to be the most successful and optimal build for one of my favorite characters to use in Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is Petra. So this is an avoid tank crit machine build. And she's one of the only truly reliable avoid tanks. And of the reliable avoid tanks, the only one that can reliably one round KO enemies thanks to her high crit rate and natural build towards being both an avoid tank and crit dealer whereas most other avoid tanks don't have the same kind of focus for crit builds. So first off with her growth rates, she's especially built for being a Void Tank and Crit Dealer, with decent strength and decent luck added in, but with high dexterity and speed, so she's going to have a pretty good base crit rate already. And then she gets a personal battalion from her power log, along with skill strengths that perfectly built her for being an avoid tank and crit dealer together. So first off, she's going to be exclusively a sword user for this build, going from thief into assassin and then ending in assassin. You can pick up death blow if you have a chapter 6 recruited Petra, but if you have a starting Petra or early recruited Petra, then you won't be grinding for any skills other than just going through Thief and Assassin. You won't need to pick up any other skills because you'll just be throwing them out later once you get better stuff anyway. But if you have Chapter 6 Recruited Petra, you can pick up Death Blow and use that for quite a long time where it'll be useful. So I'll mention Combat Arts quickly because they're the least relevant part of the build. Grounder is the only one that you'll actually be using, and that's only on certain maps. If you're on New Game Plus, then you can get B Brawling for healing focus on her, and have her be a little bit more independent, but that's not especially relevant, and you don't need it for the build, it just is a nice bonus on New Game Plus. So for class skills, the only one that really matters is Sword Fair since that's going to be increasing your damage, and it can stack with equipable sword fare. And it's not actually listed as a skill, but Assassin has an innate reduction of terrain penalties. Not completely... well, reduction of most terrain penalties, and then it completely avoids terrain penalties from things like forests and pillars. So it's going to be a lot more mobile than other infantry classes. And also has a very good speed and dexterity modifier to further complement what the build is going for. Assassin in general is pretty much built for being a crit dealing avoid tank. But Petra fits it the best out of anyone. Because of her naturally very high speed and dexterity. So then for skill slots, you have Sword Prowess, which is going to be raising your avoid. The hit really doesn't matter. You just want that plus 20 avoid at level 5. Axe Breaker for more avoid against axe users. This will make it so that she pretty much always gets zero hit rate from enemy axes. Alert Stance into Alert Stance Plus. You can get Alert Stance usually by around Chapter 10 or 11 by setting her goals to flying right from the very beginning. If she's starting in Black Eagles or if you get an early Recruited Petra. If you get a Chapter 6 Recruited Petra, then instead what you can do easily is get her up to C flying. Then grind in, we'll pass the Wyvern Rider exam and then grind in it a bit to get flying rank up to where it would have been otherwise. 
and usually only requires about one grinding map of using the rusted weapon trick to do that. And then she'll be back up to around B flying by chapter 10 or 11. And then alert stance plus, you get A plus flying usually by chapter 18 or 19. And of course, since this is a build focused on being an avoid tank, you will go into enemy range, hit wait, and then let them come to you and get themselves killed. Then sword crit 10 for added crit chance, since that's going to be your main form of dealing damage. Before you get sword crit 10, you can use lethality, or if you're on new game plus and pick up death blow, as mentioned earlier, then you can have death blow in there. Since you will not exclusively be using weight on enemy phase, there's plenty of times where you're going to want to just go and attack something. And then speed plus two is merely filler that you'll be using for most of the game until you get sword fare from S plus sword rank. And since they stack with, since fares stack, you will be getting a straight plus 10 damage between the two sword fares, which becomes plus 30 on a crit. Onto equipment. Your main weapon is going to be the Cursed Aishia Sword that's from a chest in Chapter 13 because this is the highest crit rate weapon in the game and it also has good might too. The recoil doesn't matter too much since Petra's focus will be on avoiding tax altogether so she won't be needing to be at high HP and you can always just heal up after a couple turns of the recoil damage. I think it's a flat 5 damage every time so it's easy to just heal that up and it really won't matter too much since she's not going to be getting hit by anything. But in situations where you really don't want to take that risk, you need to be safer than you have the Wo Dao with 10 less crit and less might but no recoil and with her very high crit rate the 10 less crit isn't going to make a huge difference. You're still going to be landing most crits. Then you have the Ripier for dealing with armors that would otherwise be invincible against you. And it's also helpful against cavalry since you can usually one round KO them with that without even needing to land a crit. And then for the item slot, it's an evasion ring for obvious reasons. And you can actually pick this up as early as Chapter 7 by stealing it off of either Dimitri or Claude. So no matter what route you're on, you can always steal at least one evasion ring to give to her right away. Now the last thing to go over with the build is Battalion, since this is really important. So the Battalion you'll be running will be the Bridget Hunters, her pretty much personal Battalion that you get from her Paralog. So with Avoid plus 20 and Crit plus 10, it is the best battalion for both Crit and Avoid together, and further shows that she is intended to be used as an Avoid tank and Crit dealer. Some decent Might edit on and Poison Tactic, while not in amazing, I mean it's a pretty good Gambit, but she's not going to be using it too much and probably won't have a specially good charm. Though I'll also mention that you should throw on at least one or two goddess icons to increase her luck and crit chance, which will also help with her magic avoid, and then throw on charm boosters to help her avoiding gambits. But if she doesn't get very good charm growth, then that would be a waste anyway, since she's not going to be able to avoid gambits and she just stay out of Gambit range in the first place. It's only if she gets good charm growth you want to increase her charm to further improve her avoidance race, uh, rate against Gambits. And then for Battalion, before you get Bridget Hunters, Geralt's Mercenaries is the next best thing, and you have it since the very beginning, so she's able to be set up for this build right from the start. You can start using her this way. Geralt's Mercenaries has less might and 5 less avoidance, so you will 
just be using that until you get Bridget Hunters, and it's pretty, it's really, really good for such an early game battalion. And to close with, here is an example of the Petra build being used in a different file, where she unfortunately did not get too good speed for her. 42 speed at level 43 is honestly pretty low. But you can see her really high avoidance rate, which would be better if she had better speed. And her crit rate with the rapier, which is going to be around 45 points lower than it would be for the Cursed Aishia Sword. So add 45 to that, and then you'll see what kind of crit rate she'll normally be running by endgame with this. And that avoid rate is after alert stance plus, I believe. I've had files where she had about 10 higher avoid due to having higher speed there. And also skill ranks over there. This is from a new game plus file, so I also gave her healing focus from brawling, but it's not too important for the build as I mentioned earlier. So then if anyone wants me to do this for other characters then comment what characters you want me to try doing a build video for and I'll try to get to them since if someone requests that then obviously someone's interested. So see you next time!